Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Which of those balloon dog do you like? The silver one is done with the pipe with the regular rhino nerve. The other one is with the Rhino 7 Subti. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between those two and discuss what is the better way to model a balloon animal. Are you ready? Let's get started. In today's tutorial, I would like to discuss about why I prefer the sub D over the piping uh, along with this design right here and talking about the tiny differences between those two. So let's take a look on this pipe dock here. Uh, with this pipe, you can notice that most of them are coming with the same thickness. Only the one at the front right here for the face is going pipe from the small to the big. Right. So let's talk about the pipe first. We have everything coming out from those curve here. If the curve is position is right, all you need to do is piping. Right. So we're going to come into the solid tool and then you have this pipe and you can decide how big you want with this pipe. Right. And then you can get something like that. No problem. I'm going to move it this to the side for the comparison. What if I want to have one size bigger, one size smaller with the pipe and we can do the same thing with one size bigger, one size smaller, we'll get something like that. Notice that they are coming from the center, moving this one on the side for the comparison. And I wanted to have a pipe again. This one, I want the two of the end is smaller and the one in the middle is a little bit bigger. So we get this kind of a weird shape there. You cannot decide it. Uh, if you want all the circle, which is the profile all aligned to the bottom. If you wanted to do that instead of doing the pipe, you might want to do something like this. You have again, having any of the curve that you want and you will need to starting doing your own profile and have them all line up there. So in this case, I'm going to have one is there and you have to tilt it into the correct uh, place. So one is there and the other one, I'm just simply just going to mirror here and another one I have to go into do it here, tilt it something like that and then make them bigger and tilt it into the right position and have them to go something like this. Right. And then instead of using a pipe, uh, you can use a sweep one rail. You got rail one and one, two, three for your cross section and you'll get something like that. So at least they won't having a bump, you know, on the, on the bottom like this. That's why I prefer not to use pipe in this scenario is because once you're done, it's hard to edit, right? Especially if you adding the cross section right in the middle. And let's take a look on the sub D. Now in the sub D, if you pipe anything, so I'm just going to come into the sub D tool. If you're not familiar with the sub D, it has a tab here, or you can go in with the sub D and then you have all the sub D menu, uh, drop down menu there. So in this sub D tool, we're going to just using the create a multi pipe. Um, we're going to stay with the radius for whatever that you think is will work. In this case, I want it to be 1.5. The cap, I want it to be on and then I want it to be smooth, right? So really quickly, I get something like that. The beauty of the sub, you can uh, select it and then you can 1D scale and you can get this really smooth um, and then you can kind of move and you can get a really smooth surface there. And then you can make this one if you want the bottom to be fat, you can make them bigger if you want to. All right. So I'm going to uh, roughly get about this size, maybe a little bit longer. So you got a lot more room to tweak it. In this one right here, I'm going to pipe it. It doesn't ha always need to be something really big and something like that. That will be fine. I'm going to do again with this one. And then in the middle right here, maybe in the middle, I want them to be a little bit fatter and I can move it how, how I like it or I can kind of moving by the face as well to make the face bigger, fatter on the bottom and something like that. And if I feel like, okay, maybe this one is not in the right place, I can pick up the surface and just move it back like this. 
right? So you can continue to edit. So that's why I like the subtle uh, better in this neck here. Again, we're using exactly the same command right here. And if you feel like this is a shorter, you can always tweak. So that is the beauty of having a subtle there to quick, very quickly to edit this one. And for the face, we want it to from to be bigger and this to be smaller. So I'm going to scale it down, moving in and on this face right here, or we can pick up all the faces there and we just make it bigger. You can make this uh, uh, edge inside or out. I'm moving to the left or the right to decide how puffy that you want it for this face, right? And then if overall need to be bigger, we just like make them bigger and also the ear too and also the tail so let's go ahead do another one here and from here instead of making another section right here i'm going to pick up on this faces right here extrude it and we just need to make it a bit taller and now we're gonna pick up these faces just 3d scale and we want to extrude it one more time so we got it smaller coming up and we want to pick up these faces we're gonna extrude it one more time and then overall faces, I think this should be a little bit smaller. So that will be the dog tail. All right. And then once you like everything, let's go ahead to pick up this two and just mirror to the other side. Now, if you take a look on this one, I need, I think my first one proportion is much better. So I'm going to hide in this one and, and we're just going to use this one. For example, if you take a look on the render view, you're going to see this is actually really like a balloon, right? So I like the way that it's like, we can really changing the minor size here, but this a one thing I would like to point out is I do not like this one. It's like, um, this piece right here is kind of completely stick in there and create this really harsh surface, right? So the way to make them look a little bit rounder, if we go back with the ghost view here, so I'm going to show you a little trick here in the sub D once you create the, sh uh, the shape, unless you are welding each of the faces, you actually don't have something called bowling sub D. So the way that I do it on the sub D tool that you have something called convert it to the nerve. And I usually don't want to delete my sub, uh, sub D just in case I want to have a copy so I can change it later. So this is my original and this will be the poly surface. All right. Once it turning into the poly surface, we can bullying union on all of them into one piece. Again, again, uh, if you take a look on my render view, it doesn't solve the issue for that sharp edges, right? So what I wanted to do is I'm going to convert it back to the sub D. You have something called quad remesh, right? And for the quad remesh, what it does is it will um, turning them back to the sub D if you want to turn them back to the sub D or you will remesh the quad to make it look nicer, uh, more even on the edges. So you can see now the edges kind of uh, rounded. All right. If you want them to be even rounder, you just need to reduce your quad count. I'm going to stay with the 1000 here to show you the differences. And then I'm going to click OK. So now you can see we got this one compared to this one and the other one that we have if you see the render view this is a sub d individually this is a poly surface this is what we converted back to the sub d i intended to do it a smaller number so you can see the big round radius there um, if that is what you're looking for for something smaller radius you may want to keep it like 2000 instead of a 1000 that I have, but that will allow you to smooth out all the join to make it look nice and round. I hope you enjoy the tips I share with you about the sub D tool. If you wanted to know more about the Rhino 7 sub D for organic jewelry design, check out my course and the link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.